Oh my god, that cake looks delicious. I'm gonna eat it. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today Treyarch has invited me to his brand new Cloud Cake Emporium to help show off the array of brand new cakes in this delicious mod. So let's take a look. So Treyarch has helped out with this mod by baking all of these amazing cakes. Look how many there are and they're on a cloud in the middle of absolutely nowhere in the middle of the sky. How crazy is that? I'm not going to get too close to the edge because I will, I will fall off. So yeah, how are you doing Treyarch? Treyorus, how are you doing? So we're going to be trying out all of these cakes. I made a deal with Treyorus saying that I would try every single one of these cakes if he baked some. And it turns out he baked an absolute ton. So let's go straight into this. So the first thing he's also invented to kind of help along this process is he's made a hunger potion. So as you can see, I'm holding it in my hand. It looks like a bottle of experience, but what it is, is a hunger potion. And to craft it, you are going to need just one bottle and one piece of clay. So if you put those in a crafting table, you'll get a hunger potion. And when you drink it, your hunger will go down by half, will be cut straight in half. But that is fine by me because we can now munch as many of these cakes as possible without getting full. How amazing is that? And we're going to start with this one, which is the chocolate cake. And it smells amazing, it looks amazing, and it's probably going to taste amazing too. Now, another thing to note before we start all of tasting these cakes is that we're not going to show off the recipes for now. Dr. Treyarch has put those in the description below on a forum post. So you can go and check those out and find out how he created all of these amazing cakes. But now it's tasting time. So let's go in, eat this chocolate cake, and this will actually heal up to three hearts of health and also give you back one hunger. So as you can see, we are gaining one little drumstick of hunger. And just another thing to note while we're on the desk here, sorry, sorry about this. Um, there are some really cool textures on these cakes. Look at them. They're all really cool. Look at this. Really nice. I like them a lot. So I've eaten the cake. There we go. We need to drink another hunger potion because we're moving on now to the apple cake and the golden apple cake. So these are two really cool cakes. The first one is obviously made with apples. The second one is made with golden apples. So a bit more expensive, but this one has a really cool effect. This one is exactly the same as a chocolate cake, just a different flavor. An apple cake. Very nice, kind of like an apple pie, but a bit more squidgy. So there we go. That is the apple cake. And now we also have the golden apple cake. So when I eat one slice of this, I'll get one bar of hunger back. But I will also have regeneration for 43 seconds. Bit of a random number, but I will have that really cool power on me for that amount of time, which is really cool. A nice golden texture to the cake and a very useful one as well. It's kind of like a golden apple you can just display a little bit easier and kind of get more out of it because you'll be able to get the regen effect a few more times. I think it's about six times altogether. So you can get the regen effect more than just the once when you eat a normal golden apple. So that is really, really cool. So moving on, we are going to go on to the next cake, which is the lava cake. And this is obviously crafted with lava. Looks cool. It's kind of pink, but in the inside... It has lava inside. It's out. Ow. Ow. Oh, my God. It's actually burning my mouth right now, but it tastes beautiful. <laughs> my mouth. Treyarch, why? Why would you do this to me? But anyway, this is the lava cake, and it will actually give you another special ability. As well as refilling one hunger, it will give me fire resistance for just over eight minutes. So it may be hot in your mouth, but you won't feel it too much because when that resistance kicks in, your throat won't feel as burned. So there you go. That is the lava cake. And now we're going to move on to a couple of plain cakes, which are a bit cheaper to bake, as you can see in the description below. But um, yeah, this is the Basque cake. It's kind of like, I think it's Basque or Basque. What is it? He has no idea. But anyway, this is the Basque cake and you can eat it to get three hunger bars back, which is really cool. And it's kind of more like a biscuit, I guess, a very big biscuit. So that's drink some more of his hunger potion so we can nom some more cakes and up next are the brownie and the chocolate mousse so the brownie as you notice as well one thing to note is that there are different slices of these so you can only actually eat this in two parts you can only take two bites out of it but with the lava cake you can only oh, i think that's only two bites as well but with these cakes you can actually take six bites out of it so they all kind of vary in the amounts that you can eat the brownie will take two slices as well as well as gaining three hungers and the chocolate mousse will also only have two slices but that is one of the cheapest ones to bake so that should be fine now we're moving on to some more special cakes now the first one is the watermelon and this will give us one extra hunger bar and also a special effect as well so i like the look of this one it's a watermelon in a cake or a, a, a cake in a, i don't know anyway it's a, it's kind of a watermelon in a cake so let's eat it and as you can see really cool textures with the watermelon in the center and it also spawns in some melon seeds every time you eat it so you're kind of eating your slice of cake and out pops 
some melon seeds. And you can get quite a few out of this. I think that will be about five slices, which means you can get five seeds out of them. Or you can just break the cake and it will give you all of the seeds straight away. So there's five melon seeds just for eating a cake. So that is really cool and a kind of a unique ability from a cake as well. So let's munch some more of this hunger potion and we can move on to the ow. Oh my God, I've drunk too much. Let's eat some more of this. This is the cookie cake and it's obviously made with cookies. You can eat it, gain one hunger and we'll be safe. Wow. Wow, that actually gains three hunger. I swear it said it gains one, but look at the little... Oh my god, cookie dough. Oh, it tastes so good. It's making my mouth water. I'm going to have some more of that. Oh yeah, that that felt good. I'm not going to lie. That tastes absolutely amazing. Good job, Treyarus. Good job. <laughs> So we're going to move on to another special cake, and this is probably the most expensive one to bake. It needs two nether stars to bake. Yes, two nether stars, but the effect is really cool. So we are going to drink some hunger potion and then munch down on this stars cake and out pops some experience. Yes, some experience. How crazy is that? And it will also give you just one hunger bar, but when you eat the whole thing, um, you will have a lot of levels compared to what you had before. I don't know if it's worth the two nether stars that you've... Um, what is going on here? Why are you chasing me? Why are you why are you going around my face? That that's a bit weird. There we go. I think I fixed it. They're not flying around my head anymore. But what I was saying was, um, I'm not sure if it's worth the two nether stars it's required to um, in the recipe. I don't know if it's worth that because you only get two and a half levels out of it, which is quite easy to get from like slaying chickens and stuff like that. But it's still a very cool effect. Maybe some more experience would be pretty cool from that. So that's something for the mod creator to be wary about. And up next is probably the least tasteful cake out there. A sand cake and yeah it's got a special ability it only gives you one hunger because it's not tasty at all but when you eat it you will actually cough out sand did you see that I coughed out sand from my face it's that dry and when you eat two parts you will get a total of I think it's 30 sand where did, there we go there we go we've got 30 sand um, yeah that's pretty weird we've got to eat the sand cake to gain sand as we cough it out of our mouth pretty strange but there we go that is the sandy cake and now we move on to the spiced cake which has one hunger and also gives you some special effects as well now I'm not sure the effects on these are that great so um, let's find out Ow, ow, yeah, they're not that great. It's the spiced cake and it's very spicy. It's giving me speed for 40 seconds and poison. What the hell? I'm gonna eat this cookie cake just to replenish myself. Actually, let's go with the golden apple cake. I can't eat. I can't eat. I'm actually full. I need some golden apple cake. There we go. That's a lot better. Ow, this is this is seriously hurting me right now. And there we go. I'm feeling better now. That That's really spicy, that cake. It looks really hot inside. And yes, it's very spicy. It will give you speed and also poison for 40 seconds. I think the poison's actually for about 45 seconds. So if you want to be quick, then eat that. But you will have to pay the price in getting poison because it's so spicy. So spicy. So to cool that down, we're going to go for the pumpkin pie or the pumpkin cake, whichever you want to call it. I think, yeah, more, a cake is more appropriate because there's pumpkin pie in Minecraft already. And when you nom it down, you will actually get slowness, but you will also get regeneration as well. That is pretty good. I like that trade-off. I don't like the spice trade-off. Too spicy. Hurts you. It's poisonous. Why, why would you be poisonous? But anyway, the pumpkin is a lot nicer. It does give you slowness, which is a bit annoying for a lot longer than the generation. But actually, it's not too much longer. It's about five seconds. You get the regeneration for 40 seconds and the slowness for 45. And I think that's a decent trade-off for making the pumpkin cake. So yeah, that is really cool. A really cool effect. And now, we I think we're out of the nice cake. So now we're going to move on to this section of the cloud, which says, Danger unstable cake yes i'm going to have to eat these because i promised treoris that i would when i came over here so here you go buddy we are just about to try this out and there are five unstable cakes that he has created and we're going to start with the cactus cake so this is an interesting one it, you may also notice that um a few of these look like normal cakes already three of them are like normal cakes and they're kind of like troll or joke cakes as you will see in a second so this one is crafted with cactuses and looks very very normal but as soon as you stand on it yeah, it's going to hurt you. It's going to prickle itself into your feet. And when you brush against it as well, if it's higher up, you will also get hurt. Just like when you are attacking a cactus with your body. And you can also eat it and get hurt as well. So if you're desperate for hunger, then definitely go for it. But if you're not, then I would stay away from it. Don't even go near it. You will get spiked. And it's also a really good one to troll your friends with. You can be like, oh, oh, hey, guys, I made this cake for you. And then they run up to it. And they will get hurt. So that is the cactus cake. And we're going to get rid of you because we don't want you here. So this next one we're going to take a look at is the redstone cake. Which does look pretty damn delicious, I must say. I'm a fan of the colour red and it looks nice. It does, but when you eat it, 
it gives you nausea for 1 minute 40. Look at that. It looks so nice inside. It looks like jam or something, maybe even tomato ketchup. But no, it's redstone. You've just eaten a block of redstone inside a cake. It's not that great. It's making me feel very sick. Very sick indeed. Blah. Right then, back into the unstable cake chest. And why Why am I doing this to myself? Why did I make such a promise to him? Why? Look how sneaky he's looking at me. He's just like looking at me like, yes, you eat those cakes. I dare you. So um, I'm going to go into here and now... Oh my god. <laughs> the poison cake. Okay, this is the poison cake. It's another one that looks very, very similar to a normal cake and is good for trolling. Because you can be like, again, come over here, guys. Eat this cake. It is delicious. But when you eat it, you will get poison for 50 seconds, which will almost kill someone, I think. I'm not too sure. But 50 seconds is a long time to be poisoned, and it's a nice trick to play on all your friends. You can get them all to eat a piece at the same time, and they will die from it. I think they might die from it. So I'm going to drink this milk that I've got in here before I do die, thanks to Traorus. It would be all your fault, by the way. And we're going to move on to the next cake, which is an interesting one, I must say. It's one of my favorite looking ones, but not my favorite effect. So here it is. The ender cake. It looks really nice. It is kind of like a ender pearl color with a gray bottom. Look at that. Very cool. But when you eat it, oh god, you get teleported to a random location. And luckily, we fell in the water. Where's the cloud? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right over there. Oh my god, it teleported me so far and I need to get back up there. I'm not even sure how I'm going to get there, but I, I will see you back there in a second. And there we go. I am back next to this horrendous cake. It looks really nice. I must say, it looks really cool. I like the colours and the stuff. The inside, probably a good indication to why you shouldn't eat it, but it will teleport you to a random location near to where you've eaten the cake, and it's another nice cake to troll your friends with. You can just be like, yo, this, this looks nice. Eat it, and they teleport either into the ocean, or if I teleported above this, I'll be absolutely destroyed. I would fall from the air and just get killed. So be very wary of this cake. But now we're going to move on to the mother of all cakes. I'm going to grab it and I'll be back in a second. And here we go. I introduce to you the mother of all cakes, the normal Minecraft cake. No, okay, it's not a normal Minecraft cake. Don't worry, I have not trolled you. But this could be another one that could troll the hell out of anyone you are sharing this mod with because... Oh my god, I'm going to take a bite of this. I'm going to prepare myself for this. I just need to take a little bit of hunger potion. And here we go. I'm not sure if I want to try this, but um, I'm going to have to. I, I made a promise to this guy over here, and he's going to watch and laugh. Because you take a bite of it, and... Yeah. It will destroy you. It will spawn in a nice TNT, or you will actually munch down, bite through the TNT, and be exploded right into the air so be very careful of that one a very nice one to troll your friends with again so those are some very interesting cakes and that is pretty much what this mod has to offer thank you for that pretty intense tasting session i must admit you're a good baker but i'm never eating any of your cakes ever again so yeah guys that's pretty much what this mod has to offer and if you do like what you see and do want to try it out for yourself and also check out the recipes for all of these cakes then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod also if you happen to be new to the channel then please do subscribe to join team tdm today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you did enjoy your time watching me experience Dr. Treoris's Cloud Cake Emporium. So that's pretty much it from me and Treoris, guys. And all that's left to say is goodbye!